Hey everybody, John Felino here from Insightful Recordings, and today I'm going to be giving you another quick audio tutorial. We're going to be working with a few vocal tracks and use Melodyne to pitch correct them. Now, I did not engineer this song, I did not engineer these vocals, but if I were the engineer in the situation, I would have done a ton of takes with the vocalist and waited until we got the most perfect takes that they could possibly get, and then we would move on to pitch correction. Now, I do know this vocalist. He is a very good singer. His pitch is on point 99% of the time. But regardless, nobody's perfect, and everybody's always going to require a little bit of pitch correction before the vocals are mixed ready. So let's take a listen to the track and see what we're working with here. You're looking at me different since I took myself so serious. Take me so serious, oh I'm feeling kind of distant But how could I step aside And watch you just take my life Oh, it's serious And then we have a little bridge here And we have some hook ad libs over here Alright, so to start, you're going to have on each of these tracks, you'll have an instance of Melodyne with the corrected vocals, and then you will output those vocals onto a new track. You'll be printing them. So we're going to go through, duplicate all these tracks. Don't take the playlist, you don't need them. We're just gonna leave them here for now. And these will be the tracks where the final tuned vocals are gonna be. Let me take them out of the group. Okay, so first of all, let's work on this main center vocal. You're looking at me different since I took myself so serious. Take me so serious, uh-huh. I'm feeling kind of distant, but how could I step aside and watch you just take my life? Oh, it's serious. Okay, like I said, pretty good, but there's always room for a little work. So we're going to highlight the section that we're working with, pull up our mixer, throw an instance of Melodyne on that track. Then we're just going to hit transfer and press spacebar to play. You're looking at me different since I took myself so serious. Take me so serious, uh-huh. I'm feeling kind of distant. But how could I step aside and watch you just take my life? Oh, it's serious. Okay, spacebar again, stop. All right, just gonna grab down here and zoom in a little bit. Have a better look at what we're working with. Now, we're not gonna be using every single tool in the Melodyne program. Also, I only have Melodyne Assistant, but that's all I really need to be able to do the projects that I work on. I usually only use Melodyne to adjust vocals. I'm not using it to adjust other instruments too often. We're going to be using the pitch tool, pitch modulation, pitch drift, and note separation. Now, first we're going to start off with the pitch tool. Inside Melodyne, you can just double click to play. You're looking at me different. And you can double click to stop. That's how I'm going to be playing and pausing while we're right inside Melodyne. You're looking at me different since I took myself so serious. Take me so serious, uh-huh. Now, I notice right now, right off the bat, there's a few notes, like this one here, this one here, this one over here. You can see this dark line. It's following basically two notes with inside one blob. So we're gonna take the note separation tool, go right where you see the note change, and cut it just like that. Again up there, again over here, and again right there. That way we have a single blob, and yes, they're actually just called blobs. We have a single blob for each note. Let's go up to pitch again. We're gonna go through and we're gonna adjust the pitch of each of these notes. You're looking at me different since I 
normally you would be like, okay, let's find out the key, but let's not waste time with that. Let's just go straight into listening, finding out what sounds good. Because lots of the time, you have a vocalist that doesn't exactly follow the exact rules of a major or minor key. They're kind of going out with certain notes, but it sounds good because of the way the song is written. So we're just going to stick to doing what sounds good and keeping the notes as close as to where they were tracked as possible. So let's start here. We just double click on a blob and it snaps in place to the closest note. You're looking at me different. Looking at me. Looking at me different. You're looking at me diff me. You're looking at me different. Looking at me different. Okay. You're looking at me different since I notice another spot where there's a few notes in one. Right there. Since I. Since I. Since I and since I that sounds more like what the vocalist is trying to accomplish there. You're looking at me different since I took myself so serious. I took myself so serious. I took myself so serious. Lots of playing and pausing, listening, going back. Trying to figure out what sounds best. Now this basically just follows the same pattern as right here, so I can basically copy basically copy what those notes are doing. Now the only thing I would change is probably uh, that right there. Uh, that sounds a little bit better. Next. Let's get rid of these breaths in there because with all these tracks layered on top of each other, you don't want all these breaths in the same spot, just layered on top of each other. It's, it's just gonna sound gross. So we'll use the note separation tool again. As you can see, this breath here is already separated. So you can just right click, delete. Yeah, left click first, then right click, delete. Left, right, delete. You're looking at me different since I took myself so serious. Take me so serious. And that way you don't get rid of any of the words at all. You're just getting rid of that breath. Next thing we're going to do is a pitch drift tool. What I usually do, highlight everything and double click. It just gets rid of some of the shakiness in the voice, but you want to make sure it doesn't get rid of any intentional vibrato or something of that nature. The next thing that we can do is go to the pitch modulation tool. We can highlight everything. Hold down your left click and slightly pull downward a little. That's just gonna further tighten up the notes a little bit more, but you wanna be You're careful looking at me or different it'll start sounding pretty I artificial or so serious. Take me so serious. Uh -huh. Let's take a listen to that little section, bar 49 to 53, within the song. Sounds pretty good. I'm going to go through and finish up the rest of that track. This section right here. I'll be right back. I ran into a situation right here where using the pitch drift tool actually took away from the note so i'll show you what the note sounded like originally how could i st i step now with the pitch drift on but how could i step it takes away from that little drop in the voice at the end of the note right around here all i have to do to take the pitch drift off the note is go over to it and double click and it brings it back to its normal state sounds a bit better how could i step aside we have this whole track right here ready to be printed what we're gonna do is go into our mixer screen we're gonna find the print track for it right over here change the input of that to be whatever bus will do bus one output of the melodyne track be bus one 
set the print track to record. You can make sure they're both sold so we can listen to it as it prints. And control space to record. You're looking at me different since I took. Right away, I realized I did something wrong. I had to make sure this track is set to zero so that when it prints, it prints at full volume over into this track. You're looking at me different since I took myself so serious. Take me so serious, uh huh. I'm feeling kind of distant, but how could I step aside and watch you just take my life? Oh, it's serious. Awesome. Now we mute the Melodyne track. We just have this track right here, the printed track. There is nothing on it. And you're looking at me different. It has the Melodyne vocals. Now I would go through and do this for all the tracks. Then just to keep things organized, I would go through, click on one of the full size tracks, press semicolon to drop down to the track under it, control F to add some fades, enter, and then alt shift three to consolidate. And then it's the same length as all the other tracks. Now for the rest of the tracks, I would just make sure I get rid of that Melodyne instance and make a new one on the next track because you don't want 20 of them running at once. It might slow your computer down. I always just like to say, have one running at a time. All right, guys, that was my quick tutorial on Melodyne. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, let me know. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.